Dejoban Games, bringing you quality video games for over 75 years. Hello everyone, my name is John, aka Maroka, and this is Drunken Robot Pornography. This is an upcoming title from Dejoban. This is a very, very, very early alpha build. Uh, I'm part of the exclusive first alpha, closed alpha testing group. Uh, there will be more coming in the near future, but for now, I'm one of the few people that can show this off to the world, so I'm going to take my opportunity to do so. And this is the main level hub, so let's jump straight into the first level and show you what it's about. We start off by drinking a martini. Uh, yes, I have a jetpack, because jetpacks are awesome. Why not? And I have a gun with it, which to shoot this giant robot that's just threatening our fair city of Boston. I've only been to Boston once in my life, but I'm almost certain this is exactly what it looked like. Right, so that was easy, wasn't it? You have achieved a new high score. Yay. Yay. It does get tougher, trust me. Here we see a more interesting level and some power-ups, and it takes a few more martinis to get the level started. Oh, here we go. Now that that I just picked up was the triple shot. This guy fires a few more lasers than the last dude. So let's get started. Triple shot just fires three bolts at a time. It's pretty self-explanatory. Makes pretty short work of things. There are many other power-ups. Only a few of them actually appear in this alpha build. And they can all be combined to make you even more powers. Yay. So, level 3, we're done with the boss fights now. We're going to see all the drones. So, the goal here is simply to score 30,000 points before the timer runs out. You do that by shooting things. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, I was trying to go up the tube, I was trying to get clever there. Yeah, this level, because it's a score based level and the martinis are worth so much, it's almost easier just to go for all the martinis to actually shoot the enemies. But since the game's about shooting enemies, let's shoot some enemies! Ah! Have a drink along the way to refresh us. Yeah! Oh, weird snaky dragon thing. Um, yeah, if we fall off, we lose five seconds, but we get to carry on. Oh, Thirty seconds. Better pick up the pace. There we go. You have achieved a new high score. Yay. Okay. Burning through is pretty fast, but never mind. Let's just get a feel for the game. Level 4. A few more types of drones. I've done this level a few times while competing for high scoreboard places. So there is a clever trick with one of the later enemies that spawns in here that I'm going to try and pull off. I've not successfully done it, but I'm pretty sure it works. So I'll have a go. Yeah, you can see there's lots of platforms with martinis up there. And no obvious way to go get them. That'd be a great way to speed up the level if you could get them, right? This blue dude shoots big lasers. I can... Ugh! Yeah, you can try and use them for sort of a height boost if you use the knockback to propel you. I'm certain that's supposed to be the way up. I have not intentionally managed it yet. Never mind. Kill him for the points, then all his friends do. Yeah, see here we've got this rapid... Oh! I made it up there! Oh! The one time I made it up! No ways! God damn! 
I just want to see what kind of score you get if you just finish the level super early by grabbing all the martinis. Uh, level 5, what's this one? Uh, ah, uh, yeah. This one's kind of fun. No time limit, lots and lots of drones. Plenty of power ups. This level feels familiar. I think there was a very similar one in Inago Rage, to which this game could very much be called. Certainly a spiritual successor, if not a direct successor. It's pretty much the same concept, but much shinier and more modern. Yeah, there's nothing terribly exciting about this level, so I'm going to let the soundtrack play out a bit, because I do really like it. They've got, uh, there's a few fantastic tunes in this game. have achieved a new high score. Yay. Yay. Okay, so this is the last one in this alpha build. It's considerably tougher than anything so far. It's actually a bit of a boss rush mode. Uh, takes 10 martinis to start the action. So let's grab those. Hey, there we go. Got my rapid fire on the go. Oh, I hate this guy. I really hate this guy. Right, I want a triple shot rapid fire. That should make pretty good work of him. Yeah, the Titans are kind of clever in that they've got a core which, when you destroy it, they die. But the core can't be attacked. And it can be attacked, but you can you do very, very, very little damage until you've destroyed everything else, and every part that's connected to it seems to add extra layers of armor. So, the furthermost extremities are the most vulnerable, and then once you remove that, the next layer is weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker until you get back to the core. There's a super weapon up there, I'm going to save that for the big guys, this guy is not that tough. There's also a few other super weapons in the game files, but that don't actually make an appearance in any of the official levels. So I'll demonstrate those in a little bit, because I've been messing about outside the core game. Oh, don't want to fall down here. Ow! Martinis! Delicious. Ow. Okay, I got 90 seconds left to finish the job. There's another one to go after this as well. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, so I've got my neutron bomb. Let's just hover down over the dude and drop the bomb. Oh, yeah! That did some damage. Of course, all the armored bits still don't take damage. It kind of it's just going to strip the stuff off the outside. So honestly, the toughest enemies are just simply going to be the one that ones that have the most parts. I think. That doesn't doesn't mean you can't build something interesting though. Oh, yeah, all these cogs when they drop cause a lot of frame rate issues. Uh. There was a patch today that was supposed to fix that. I don't think it has particularly well. And I won't hear anything about it being my computer, because my computer is excellent. Right, this guy needs a neutron bomb. You have achieved a new high score. See, I didn't win that by killing the guy. The guy was still up. That neutron bomb wouldn't have finished the job there. That was because I hit the score threshold. That level, for some reason has a score threshold that when you hit 60,000 points you win. I I don't think that's the right thing for that level, it shouldn't do that. 
it should be tied to actually finishing that final Titan, I think. Because, see, yeah, there I just finished halfway through a fight. It's a bit. It, it, it's the first alpha release. I think we can forgive things like that. I think any actual final levels are obviously going to be tightened up a lot better than that. But anyway, that's the six official levels. But there's more to it than that. We go if we go down to the bottom left hand corner, we've got this build icon. Oh, we can build Titans and an arena and browse other people's stuff in the Steam Workshop. Okay, let's have a look at the arenas. Because I've built this. My test arena that I want to play that I've been playing about with. So have a quick look around my arena. There's lots of power-ups on the on the bed here, on the floor. A few bits of decoration. A uh, big advert screen up in the sky. Advertising awesome notes, which I very much approve of. And a bunch of Titan spawners hanging in the sky in front of it. Uh, the interface will be pretty recognizable to anybody who's done any kind of 3D modeling or animation programs. Uh, my experience is doing animation within Maya, but it it's pretty consistent across any modeling program really. Unreal Editor, that sort of thing. Different mouse buttons, clicks, do different things, zoom in and out, see you've got all the movement interface, move stuff back and forth. A lot of people have seen that before. It's pretty it's all fairly intuitive, it's fairly simplistic. And let's have a look, see what we can play with. We've got different platforms, different buildings, moving pieces. Uh for some reason there is a My Little Pony as the teleporter icon. I think there's a brony over at Dejuan. Uh there's a big arrow. That's all the fun things. Alright, let's play around in the arena, have a look, see what I've put in here. Right, plenty of toys. Let's go get all my power ups to begin with. So, as soon as I pick up that martini, we'll have some titans. So, let's get the first one up. This one, I believe, is January. Here is the first titan that you fought at PAX East at any rate whilst I was there. I don't I can't speak for PAX Prime, I wasn't there. So yeah, that's a shield power up. It does what it says on the tin. It's a shield. Uh next one is a Phoenix capacitor. I don't know what this does. It makes stuff do funny noises, but I can't for life me figure out actually what it does. Very strange one. There it is. Audience participation. Likewise, gain no immediately visible effects. If any of these things do something, it should perhaps be a little more obvious. Got a jump boost here. That's good, that's good. So that'll let me get across to my turtle island where I've got my superpower weapon, the orbital friendship cannon. See if I can jump across and deploy it without. Yeah, there we go. I always fall off here. I actually deployed it properly this time. Okay, I didn't deploy it properly because it didn't destroy the guy, but. Um... That's still one of the best looking weapons I've ever seen in a game, ever. Uh, this, I believe, is... I think I think I just picked January, February and March for these three, so that's February. Boom. Uh, these gears... As of the PAX East build, they represented score. If you picked them up, you got some points, but for some reason in this build, you can't pick them up and they cause tremendous amounts of lag. Uh, I hope they fix that soon. 
So let's take down March. Boom. So that is a quick rundown of Drunken Robot Pornography Alpha version 4. I hope you found that quite entertaining. I'm finding it very entertaining to play. Uh, see that's saving. I'm hoping that the community rallies together. I mean, obviously there's only a few people actually able to access the game at this stage. But I'm hoping people will be able to come up with some quite creative arenas and titans. And I'm certainly going to have a go at building the stuff myself. Anybody who has access to the alpha, and there will be further alpha keys going out in the near future, I'm assured. Uh, anybody will be able to download that from the workshop. And I'm going to try out other people's creations, and people can try out mine, and it should be a lot of fun. So that's something to look forward to in the near future. So, thanks for watching. I've been John, and this has been Drunken Robot Pornography.